Hi, thanks for stopping back out at the ranch. I'm Marie and this is Red Heart Quilts. Today I'm going to show you how to make the quilt behind me. The pattern name is Mosaic. It's a, pay, it's a little color booklet. Inside the pattern, you will get a full size master template. This template, you're not going to cut up. You want to transfer this to freezer paper. You can buy this at any grocery store, supermarket. Put the wax paper, the freezer paper, on top of your master. Trace it on with a Sharpie or a pencil, and then set aside your master for later. First thing we're gonna do is utilize all your fat quarters that you've been saving because they're so wonderful, but you just didn't know what to do with them. We probably all have a few stacks of those. You see them in the market and they're so beautiful. Well, this is a great way to use up a lot of fat quarters. The size behind me is using 20 fat quarters and you'll notice it makes its own border. When you start with cutting, you always wanna press your fat quarters. Then you wanna stack them right side up or right side down as long as they're all stacked the same direction. Stack as many as you're comfortable cutting through. If you're comfortable with five or six, stack up that many and cut them at the same time. You want to press your pattern to your fat quarters. You can see how it just sticks right on there. The wax from the freezer paper makes that stick. Trim around your square and then cut out piece one, then piece two, then piece three. After you cut them, stack them back on your master template. And you can see how I've stacked these on so that I can keep them in order. It's really easy to get these turned around if you don't keep them in order. The pattern also tells you where to cut and also where to sash. So once we have all of our fat quarters cut, stacked back on our master pattern, we're gonna cut our sashing. It's one inch strips and the pattern will tell you how many of these you need for what size quilt you're gonna make. Um, you always wanna sew, when we're gonna sew this to our pieces, sew with the sashing on top because this is not biased. And once we cut some of these edges, they became biased. You can get, you're not gonna sew any sashing to piece four. You're gonna sew sashing to piece one, two, and three and one, two, and three will all fit on one 42 inch piece of sashing. You'll notice that I left a space between the pieces. You have to do that. You can't just put them right next to each other because we're gonna trim these. We're gonna trim it the angle of the piece. So we have to have this space here. You'll see this here. See how this is trimmed? We took our ruler, we put it right on the piece, and we trimmed right through the sashing. You're gonna do that with all the pieces, all one piece, two piece, and three piece. Once we get those all cut, we're gonna start sewing them together. Now remember when we cut, we cut piece one first, set it aside, cut two piece two, set it aside, cut piece three, set it aside, back on our master template. We're gonna start sewing piece three to four, just like this. And again, you lay it on top, sew on your sashing line, not your, um, don't have your piece on top, have your sashing on top. So this is piece four, piece three. We've sewn those two together. The next step is sewing piece two, four, three. Now we've sewn piece two onto these. We're almost done. Of course, now we have piece one, piece four, piece three, piece two, and we've added piece one. Our block is now complete. You wanna press it each time. You don't really have to trim it each time because of the way it lays out. You wanna trim it afterwards. Once we get this sewn together, we get it pressed, not ironed, remember girls. We're just gonna press this. You have to be nice with your iron or you will distort your blocks. Just simply press it. And you'll see on the back, how your seam allowance fits right in there. Because this is a one inch strip, you're gonna do a quarter inch seam allowance. So the, the it press is really nice on the back. I have a little dog ear here I see that I did not cut off. You can trim those dog ears. Once we get these all together, you're going to sash them. 
Again, we're gonna take our one inch strip and the pattern has told us how many of these to cut. We're gonna sew them on the edges here first on all of our rows. You can turn this block any way you want to. It does not have to all be turned with one on the top and four on the bottom. You can turn them, you don't have to try to match seams because they won't match. Wherever you turn them, the seam will not match. You're gonna sew the sashing here first on all your rows. Then you're gonna sew a piece of sashing on the top and bottom of each row. Um, and then you're gonna sew the sashing to the sides. You're gonna piece your scraps together when we cut our first strip. When we cut this off, when we cut our square out, the strips over here is what we're doing our border with. I forgot to tell you to stack those up for your border. You also get this little strip. If you choose, you can piece up your binding. I usually put my binding the same as my sashing because I just like the way that looks. It's your choice though. Remember, it's your quilt. You're the artist. It's your artist interpretation. There's no mistakes. Um, it's just the way you turn them. So once we get that done and we get our border pieces sewn together, you know that you measure and then you sew your, you cut your borders to that size, sew them on, um, and then you want to quilt it and put your binding on. This is how simple this quilt is. You're going to want to use this in every colors. We have it in a beautiful red, black and white with red. This has always been a very popular one. We have it kitted right now in metallic Christmas, black, white with red, the beautiful um, batiks that we call Calypso. When I was working on this, it made me want to go have ice cream, Superman ice cream at the ice cream store. That's what it reminds me of. And then we have a few more um, kits in this with the um, fat quarters. So enjoy making your mosaic. Don't forget to visit our website, redheartquilts.com. You're also invited to like my Facebook page and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, we're gonna work on a lot more tutorials and some how-tos and why we should do one thing instead of the other. Um, we're gonna talk about seam allowances. We're gonna do bias binding, just simple things like that. We're just gonna go over and then we're also gonna be starting a block of the month. It's called Back to Basics. So we're gonna go over some of the basics that some of the people who have quilted for quite a while are kind of forgetting. Thanks for stopping in today. See you back at the ranch.